And the lead yeah. vocalist here. Yeah. Introduce the groups. Uh, on the right is Barry Ryan, guitar. Then Lewis King, drums. Then Smarty Smith, bass. How you doing? Danny B. Harvey, guitar yeah. and keyboards. Oh, great sound. Great Thank you. you. Now you go back, the, the roots of you go back to rockabilly. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, we started a rockabilly band about four years ago. What, what, what was rockabilly at the time when you were uh, into it? Well, rockabilly's been. Um, like, it started in uh, the early 50s, you know, with a hempster look and that. Right. In England, it's uh, always been real good, you know, real big. And uh, we've just taken that form and brought it up to date, you know. Right, right. Now, yeah. um, you've got some people from the U.S. and some Britons in here. Yeah, yeah. Sure. But, uh, yeah. and you're from, we're, you're from Texas, Texas, right? right. Yeah. But the rest of you aren't from the South. This is sort of Southern American music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How did you get interested in this kind of music? Um, well... Everybody likes 50s music, yeah, you know, right? Everyone yeah. likes it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of good 50s songs. And, um, but instead of playing that old stuff, you know, we're writing our own songs and uh, bring it up to date, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you about, when you write a song, you're taking these, you're taking the energy and the drive of that music. Yeah. yeah. And you gotta, you gotta re-sculpt it. For that's yourselves. About, yeah, that's about Let me get you on the mic, mic from here. Oh, is this yeah. one working? Yeah. I'm well, that's about it. You know, we take the we take the energy from the music, but it's I mean uh, the stuff's really like up to date. We want a big sound and a big, you know, we want to make up to step par production and everything. You know. Now this to be in a band, you got to do have a lot of give and take among the members. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. who writes and who 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 helps out with the song? Yeah. Every, everybody. I mean, someone comes up with a song, then we'll all put in our um, ideas. You know, everyone is a writer. 
everyone contributes, you know, that's why it's a band, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of times one of us will write one part of the song and someone else will finish it off where one of us couldn't yeah. take a part I mean, of the song. Bar so Barry will like, come up with a tune. It's like a good song, but the end of it's not so good. So if yeah. I had an ideal that I was working on, maybe that'll fit. You know? uh, what, I mean, but that's got to be intense where you got egos and everything oh, else sure. in here. Yeah. You ever get into well, arguments every, about every it? Every ego we ever had has yeah. been stamped out right, like years right. ago, you know. Yeah. So, I, like, we know it's a working unit and it, it, it worked through good. Now we're just, um, now we're like, um, where our roots were we're in rockabilly, and I mean we all like that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're like we're just like a rock and roll band, really. Yeah. Pure rock and roll, the f pure son of rock and roll. Sure, <laughs> it got a great sound. Um, yeah. How long have you guys been together, and is this the, exactly the way it was when you first started? Aren't no, there's been a few uh, member changes, uh, you know, along the years. We've been together for about four years, nearly five years. Yeah. Are you so close as a band that, like, I don't know, you share each other's socks because you have, like, <laughs> underwear. socks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We steal each other's socks. Yeah, each other's <laughs> That's underwear. great. Nah, um, yeah, we... <laughs> we <laughs> Yeah, right. That's, let me tell you, that's real give and take. I've never seen people share socks. That's yeah, great. well, that's you know, great. it's lean times, hard times, and we haven't got much money. Only if he's done his uh -huh. laundry. You know. Mm -hmm. They're cheaper single even by the pair. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you can find an odd yeah. sock anywhere, can't you? Yeah, have other pairs just like that. Uh, yeah, go ahead. He, <laughs> <laughs> just like it. Yeah. You say that there have been member changes, you know, a few member changes, but, I mean, isn't that a lot of adjustment on the person that's been there the longest, like, you know, to get used to the people, you know, the new people, and adjust to uh, the way they are? Yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, that can be a problem, but usually before someone is admitted, you know, or they want to join, you figure out whether you can get along with the next person, you know, like if you think he's an idiot, uh, you soon... You soon know it within, the, you know, a few days, you know, really. Yeah, because we've all been friends now for like four years, even when we weren't in bed. Yeah, together. right. We've, we've, known, we've, we've known him, we've known him yeah. for like, uh, you know, a few years, you know, even before he was in this band. And so then when they need somebody, they call me. And yeah. yeah, he suddenly realised that this, this was the band for him, and uh, we eventually let him join, you know. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> do you have any like yeah, any records out? I mean, because I think you sound really good. You know? Well, you well we do have. Um, we we had an American deal last year, which just <laughs> ended. We had a record out called um, Rock Acts Live at the Ritz on Island Records, distributed by Warner Brothers, and it was a good live <laughs> album. I mean, uh, we didn't follow it up with a studio album. We we decided to change labels because the label wasn't. We didn't think they were personally pushing us enough. So so now we're negotiating with them. Um, Companies with these with these new tapes, which yeah. were produced we're look, by. We're looking for a deal. Yeah, that's what great. we're doing. Looking that's for what we're really after. Yeah. You know, it's great. That's an interesting record, though, because it, it came out like 48 hours after you recorded it at the Ritz. Yeah, it came out. Um, we recorded it. I think it was a first in the states. We recorded it in 48 hours. And we wow. recorded it, and it came out two days later. Yeah. What bands have you been in before, and um, where are you performing next? We haven't really been in any bands. You know, not not really. Um, no bands that got anywhere, you know, just local, you know, local uh, uh, rock and roll, rock and roll bands, mm. you know. Really, but, uh, really. We um, we're not going to perform in the city until when, really? About another month. another month. But if you're out in New Jersey way, we're performing at the Meadowbrook. That's pretty soon. How did you get the name of your group? <laughs> How, did you How did you get the name of the group? It's just. It's a from an old. Uh, Gene Vincent record, it's a, isn't it? It's a turn, it's, yeah, rock it's from an old Gene Vincent record. It's a 50s. Gene Vincent, for those who don't know, is, was, an, um, was really a um, competition for Elvis Presley and all those guys way back in the 50s. Mm -hmm. and, um, in England. It's, you know, and uh, he released this song called, um, I don't know, Blue Dream Bot or something. And in a guitar break, he, um, he shouts, Rock Cats, Rock. So that's yeah. how we got the name. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came on the show. The yeah, Rock Cats, really, and we'll hear from really you later please. on. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Great, Thank you. The Rock Cats. Thank you.
And that 